I'm Miss Kim from the Newcastle Branch Library, and I'm so happy to be here today to be able to share a story with you. I'm in my house. Are you at your house too? I bet you probably are. We are all in our houses right now because we can't go to the library, right? But this is the next best thing to be in our houses and we still get to do story time, right? So I'm really happy to be here and I'm so glad you are too. Um, I have a great book to share with you, but before I read the story, I would like to talk to you about something. I'd like to talk to you about feelings. We all, all people have lots of different feelings all the time. And did you hear me just a minute ago? I said I was happy. Could you tell I was happy? How, how does a person look when they're happy? What do you notice about them when they're happy? I think maybe usually when people are happy, they smile and their eyes are big and bright and they just, they just look happy. So I am very happy right now. What about sad? Have you ever felt sad? Everybody feels sad sometimes, right? Yeah, I, I feel sad sometimes. If I'm sad, usually my smile turns into a frown. And my eyebrows might get all scrunched and my eyes might get kind of squinty. And I might even have some tears if I'm really, really sad. So, yeah, have you ever felt like that? Yeah, I bet you have. Because, you know, everybody feels that way sometimes, and it's okay. What about scared? Have you ever felt scared? Yeah, there's lots of things that can make us feel scared. Most of them we don't need to be scared of, but sometimes we are, huh? Yeah, what if somebody, what if our big brother, big sister jumps out and says, Boo! That scares us, right? Yeah. Show me your scared face. Whoa, that was good. I'm gonna show you my scared face now, okay? <gasps> That's my scared face. My eyes get very big, and usually, if I'm really scared, I scream. Yeah, and then that makes the person that scared me laugh. <laughs> so, what's another one? How about excited? How do you know someone's excited? Excited is kind of like happy, but it's like extra, extra happy, super happy. What makes us excited? What makes you excited? Some things I can think of are, I think kids get excited when it, there's a party. They get to go to a friend's party or maybe it's their birthday, they get really excited, or a special holiday. Um, you might get excited when your mom and dad come home from work and you get to have dinner together, right? Um, what about, oh, I know a good one. I think when the libraries reopen and we get to go back to having story time, I will be very excited. I bet you will too, yeah because it's gonna be fun. Oh, and I bet there's a lot of children out there right now that if they saw their teacher, they would be so excited. They'd be jumping up and down and being super happy, right? That's excited, yeah. All right, well, thank you for talking to me about that. Now I'm ready to read the story. Are you ready to listen? Okay. I wonder if you can figure out what this book is about. It's about a monkey. What does this monkey look like? Does he look like a happy monkey? Does he look like an excited monkey? Does he look scared? No. He might look kind of sad, but you know what our book says? The title is Grumpy Monkey. It says he's grumpy. Grumpy monkey. He looks pretty grumpy, I think. I see his eyebrows are all down and his 
frown, his face is a frown, his mouth is in a frown. It looks pretty grumpy to me. So let's find out about that in this book, okay? So this book is written by Suzanne Lang. Remember, the person that writes the story is the author. That's the author. She wrote the words. And it's illustrated by Max Lang. Did you see that? They have the same last name. Did you see that? Suzanne Lang, Max Lang. They have the same last name. Hmm. Okay, well, it's illustrated by Max Lang, which means Max drew the pictures. So they worked together to write this book. Isn't that great? I think that's wonderful. Okay, so let's read our story. And moms and dads, just so you know, Random House has given us permission to read this story today. So I'm going to get very close because I want you to be able to see all the wonderful pictures, okay? Grumpy Monkey. Let me get closer. All right. One wonderful day. Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. <gasps> the sun was too bright. The sky was too blue. And the bananas were too sweet. Do you see him? He looks pretty grumpy. And it says he woke up that way. Sometimes that happens. Jim was confused. What's going on? He said. Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Look at him, though. Do you see him right there? But he says he's not grumpy. So on his walk, he met Maribo. Jim's grumpy, Norma told Maribo. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Maribo. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. What do you think of Maribo? Do you see her there? She kind of blends in, but you can see her. She has very long legs. But look how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Do you see him loosening up? Loose, loosening up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lemur. It's a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Well, but your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Do you see him raising his eyebrows? Can you see that? <laughs> Silly Jim. Oh, oh, then he tripped over Snake. Oh, no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why the frown, said Snake. Because he tripped over you, Norman told Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Do you see his smile? <laughs> That's a pretty big smile. You think he's happy? <gasps> Finally, Jim looked happy. Look at him. He looks happy. Look at his great big smile. Let's 
let's see what it says. But you know what? It says he didn't feel happy inside. He didn't feel happy inside. Hmm. Poor Jim. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy the wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. But Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. But Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass, roar, said the lion. You should stomp your feet, said the elephant. Look at Jim by the elephant, he better look out. Look out, Jim. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone and you should laugh. You should take a nap. Ooh, these are all really great ideas. You should eat old meat. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Or some honey, that sounds better. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. Boy, they all have some really great suggestions, don't they? To try to help Jim feel better. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of those things. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. Whoops. I want you to see that picture. Jim, what do you think he's feeling right now? Do you think he's happy at all? It doesn't look like it. He's looking pretty grumpy. Let's see what the book tells us. <gasps> I'm not grumpy, said Jim. He shouted and he pounded his chest. Whoa. He is so grumpy that he shouted. Wow, that's pretty grumpy. And then he stormed off. There goes Jim, storming off while his friends watch. Hmm. Well, Jim was sitting by himself now, look. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly he felt sorry for himself. Oh, he said, I guess I am grumpy, he sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, look at Jim. Look at his sad little face. Poor Jim. He came upon Norman. Oh no. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up. And he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? Does he look grumpy? He, Norman does look grumpy. Look at him. <gasps> What's it say? Oh, <laughs> it says, no, I'm not grumpy. I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Look what happened. Do you see right here? He got quills from porcupine. That's pretty funny. 
I think you have to be really careful if you want to dance with a porcupine. So then they went to sit together on the tree. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better not soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. But for now, I just need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman, and Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. That's the end of our book. Norman was a really good friend to Jim, wasn't he? He really tried to help him feel better. All his friends tried to help him feel better, didn't they? But sometimes when you're grumpy, you just have to try to feel better on your own. Yeah. Well, I really liked that book. That was fun. Remember, it's called Grumpy Monkey, and maybe Mom and Dad can find it for you, okay? We've got it at the library, um, and as soon as we get back, you'll be able to take it home with you, okay? Um, so guess what time it is? It's time for story time to be over, so I have to say goodbye. But I want to remind you all that all the librarians are doing virtual story times. So you can watch them all, which is wonderful. You can have story times all the time. And I want to remind moms and dads that after I say goodbye today, that you can go on our Facebook page. And for a little while afterwards, you can talk to me and you could tell me what you thought of the book. Did you like the book? What was your favorite part? And you could also talk to me about feelings, about have you ever felt grumpy like Jim? I'd like to know. So that would be fun. I would love to talk to you. Until I see you again, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.